he's always going to say, hello, hello. And I was like, where are you at? I'm at work. I'm like, it's a Saturday. I'm at work. I'm like, okay, I'll call you later. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. I like, okay, I love you too. My name is Lance Corporal Silla. I'm from an island in the Northern Marianas Pacific called Saipan. My dad, he works as a construction worker. It was um, an opportunity for my dad to uh, give me a better life, overusing his body. Even to this day, it's, it still surprises me that his body can still function. 2015, there was a big typhoon back home called uh, Typhoon Sotolor, and we were lining up for MREs. I saw a Marine. I still remember what he said. He said, are you gonna enlist to be a Marine? At the time, I didn't know what a Marine was, but if it looked like him, I said, yes, sir, I would love to. My dad gave me this um, long stare and he said, this is an opportunity that presents itself and you're gonna take it. This is gonna be good for you. At the time, I didn't, I didn't know what he meant by that. So when I, what keeps me going is my dad still. I just see a man who's put his family first and himself for three decades. And I tend to keep telling myself that you're here for three years, you can do it. Your dad's gonna be home safe and sound. Do what you gotta do in the Marine Corps. Provide for your dad, your family. If he can struggle for 30 plus years, I could struggle for three months in boot camp. And I wanna make him live like the rest of his lives in a, an easy way. And that's what kept me going.